this is going to be my first video. And then I found out that it shipped five months after I ordered it. This is the bridge for the iPad Pro 2018. My name is Rummy. I'm terribly flippin' excited to unbox this for you. Now, it's unusually hot in here. I'm a little warm. So, iPad Pro, all of its glory, with a paper-like-ish screen protector. And I say ish because, you know. This is going to be my first time seeing one of these in person. Ordered it based off of internet knowledge. Bridge, wireless keyboard and magnetic cover. Just to go over some specs real quick, some of you like that. It has a 12 month battery life, which is worth mentioning. That's a pretty big deal that this thing has such great battery life. USB-C, adjustable backlit keyboard, limited viewing angles. Here we are, moment of truth. Okay, cool. The screws are not completely centered. I'm gonna go ahead and be picky and say, this isn't like the best out of the box experience. That was foreshadowing. I had no idea, but that was foreshadowing. Hmm. Um, this isn't completely centered right here. The screws aren't completely centered. Maybe it's just like a picky thing, but I would have liked that to be a little bit more spot on. And especially when we get an email saying that it's gonna take a little longer for quality control and that it'll take a little longer to perfect the product when we already waited like five months, I feel like it should have been just a little bit more perfected, in my opinion. Look at these, quick star guide. Place keyboard on a flat surface and rotate clamps. Oh, okay, we'll do that in a moment. Okay, so we have a sticker, love that. And we have a charging cord. This did not come with the Logitech Slim Folio Pro. And let's put that aside, because that's all that's in the box. A rotation thing. You're supposed to rotate it. They're very, very stiff, and they do not move in tandem. I am going to place keyboard on a flat surface and rotate to 90 degrees. Okay, so there's a little rubber piece, and then there's a metal piece, and then there's the keyboard. The rubber piece just protects the iPad from the keyboard from scratching it and such. Let's just, let's wing it. Let's do it. Let's pull that trig. Er, okay. Left side. Slide. It feels uncomfortable because it's so stiff and like it's a really tight fit. Your iPad will not be coming out of this at all. This is really cool. This looks like a MacBook Pro. It lifts like a MacBook, but it goes all the way back, unlike a MacBook. Ooh, ooh, I heard that. There was some grinding. So the screen does touch the hinge just a bit. That's what we heard just now. Um, and I do have a paper screen protector on it, so you might hear that little rub on the screen. No big deal. It doesn't sound like it hurt it at all, so we're gonna move on. This thing is the back cover. I believe it just snaps to, like so. Wow, this is actually a really quality um, cover. It is leather. I can say it pretty confidently that that's a real leather. Ooh. Wow, it's heavy, certainly heavy. It feels like a laptop weight at this point. I personally am really shocked by how good it looks. I like that it's a little bit square. It reminds me of like an old Macintosh, the way the screens were so square. I like how clean it looks. It really does look nice. Okay, so we have a home button. That works. Brightness. There's a brightness button. It's a little light bulb. This is for the keyboard. These are for the screen. Let's 
pulls up the virtual keyboard. Play pause. Next. Okay, so you saw it took a second to catch up. Volume buttons. Holding it like a tablet is not entirely uncomfortable. The thing is, I did have to take off this back piece. Otherwise, uh, it will not completely settle into the iPad kind of cradle. So that's good to know. Okay, let's type a quick note. There's a bit of a lag to the keyboard when you use it, you will notice it just a bit. There's a slight lag in comparison to a MacBook. It could be because it's the first time I connected it. It could be just about anything it seems like. It didn't turn out to be the complete quality that I expected. These keys have, um, first of all, this is not connected. Okay, let's look at that. What is it with this? I don't even know... Am I supposed to... So I'm gonna give this a... It would have gotten a 8 or 9 out of 10. And I'm not that impressed with the keyboard because the keys have this matte finish to them. That's... Sounds like a chalkboard. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon.